All right, so man, I've been having a rough day today and even last night when I, for some reason when I got home from uh, working that event, I, my mind was awake and I was up, even though I was tired the whole time through the event, it was like so exhausting to try to get through it. I was so tired and like drained. But then by the time I got home and I was like laying in bed, I just couldn't sleep and I was up until about 3 a.m. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, I fell asleep and all of a sudden I'm up at 6, 6.30 and I've got this excruciating pain in my stomach on the right side. It's like grinding, burning pain. No idea what, what was causing it. I don't, you know, recognize that feeling, really. Tried to go to the bathroom, tried to drink some water. Nothing really helped. And then I just kind of laid on my stomach in bed until I fell asleep again. And then I woke up three hours later and then I've just been up since. My stomach's been tweaked and off all day. It's not as bad as it was when I woke up at, um, at uh, 6.30 in the morning, but it's been, it's been off. And so I, there's a lot of stuff I wanted to get done today. I wanted to do legs at the gym and do cardio and you know pick up some groceries that I need and work on some editing stuff and I just didn't do anything. I just was lying down and, and dealing with my stomach and just kind of resting and I'm tired, man. And I got another event to go to in in two hours. And then that's basically all the work that I have lined up for me at that restaurant. And it's like kind of, I think it's pretty much donezo after that. So, um, but I just wanted to make this quick little bit of cash. So I'll be there from 5.30 till I think 11 or so. And then I'm gonna try to come home and get some editing done before I go to bed. Cause I just, I'm, now I'm behind because of this morning and today. It's amazing how, you know, one little thing like that can just set me back so hard. And, you know, I had deadlines for other projects too that I wanted to work on and it just didn't happen. Tomorrow is gonna be a relatively busy day. So I really need to go to bed early tonight, get up early tomorrow and just hit the ground running so that I don't get too crazy behind. I checked my weight today. It's, um, it was like one, I think it was 165 even basically what it was yesterday, which is a little disheartening, but I, you know, I just know not to put too much weight into it because I, if a lot of times my weight will stall like that for a couple days and then it'll drop like a pound or a pound and a half. So I'm just kind of trusting that that's what's gonna happen. And also sometimes just based on how much salt I, I consume and how much water I consume and stuff like that, you know, or, or how hard I work out, all that stuff makes my weight fluctuate. So, We'll see tomorrow. I'm hoping that tomorrow is is a definite improvement because I need to, I need to be improving faster than I am right now with only two weeks left to go until competition. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get ready for work and then head over there. I'm sorry I don't have that much to show you guys today. It's just been like a grueling day for me. Okay. See ya. All right, I'm at work. Um, I just finished my lunch. And I realized that I didn't buy enough beef to make dinner tonight. So I'm probably just not going to eat dinner tonight. At least not the beef, just the potatoes and the broccoli. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> um, so that's fun. And that's the kind of mood I'm in. Cool. About to get ready for work. With my boy Lewis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Surprise, surprise. It was supposed to be a beautiful, tall, blonde model, and I got this instead. <laughs> All right, so I just got home from the gym. I mean, wow. <laughs> Take two. I just got home from the restaurant where I was bartending for an event, and can I be honest? Like, I am, I feel like shit. I feel like crap right now. I, like I said, I woke up. I was up like half the night with really upset stomach. My stomach still feels really tweaked. My throat's kind of feeling a little weird too. I'm a little worried that maybe I'm coming down with something, but my energy level is just crap. And um, so I need to eat dinner, doing that, heating it up right now. And then I wanna, I need to edit. It's, it's 11 p.m. and I need to edit my daily vlog from the 26th, which was two days ago. So I gotta do it by tonight in order to um, stay up to date. And then I'm gonna get up really early tomorrow morning, 
because the stuff I was supposed to shoot this morning for that cocktail video that I was making, I gotta do it tomorrow morning for sure and have it done. And then I have an afternoon shoot with uh, Jubilee Media. We did recently a video with a bunch of us who are HIV positive and having a discussion about like whether we agree or disagree with certain um, statements that were made. And then we had a discussion around that. It was really cool. I haven't seen it posted yet. We'll see, it should be, I mean, it should be out any week now. And, but tomorrow they, they asked me to come back and do a different series and it's like where they have random people off the street come in and, and ask whatever they want. So people will come in and know that they're speaking to someone who has HIV and then they're free to ask like whatever they want. And I'm just gonna like, you know, answer. Cause like, that's what I wanna do. I wanna like, you know, demystify it. And I'm not easily offended so I can like, I know most, most of the time when people ask questions that might be offensive, they don't mean it. They don't, most of the time people just, just don't know better. So it's an opportunity to educate and, and just um, show them the way. So that we're doing, I'm doing that in the afternoon. And then in the evening, I'm doing a podcast that my buddy Shaw set me up with. This guy's a doctor in, I think it's San Francisco or the, at least the Bay Area. And he has a podcast that he does and, wanted me to come on and talk about HIV, so I'm gonna do that too. So that'll be good. And then hopefully somewhere in all that mix, I'll be able to get to the gym, go to the grocery store and buy food, get Duke, he just ran out of food, so I need to go get him food. And just all, you know, normal errands and stuff like that. So it's gonna be another busy day for sure. And I need to start posing. Maybe I'll show that tomorrow too, if I have time. My uh, mandatory bodybuilding poses for the competition, I have to practice that every day. Because posing is almost, just as important as being super lean in your physique and all that. So anyway, time to eat and edit. Um, again, sorry, I don't have that much footage today. It was, it was just really rough and difficult day for me as far as everything goes. Just feeling, really just feeling crummy, feeling yucky. And then when I'm down also like, um, then my emotions get down too and my motivation and my perspective becomes a little more negative and also, I dealt with something really crappy last night. I got a message from someone that was just really, really shitty. Um, just really, really disappointed in this person. Really disappointed in this person. I'm thinking I'll probably do a vlog on um, the way that the per this person handled a situation that I feel like a lot of people do and is not good and unhealthy and anyway. <laughs> That's a teaser for another video for another time about someone that I at, at one time cared about incredibly deeply and uh, and and just now it's just like I don't I have no response to that message. I don't even know what to say. I'm just it's just I'm just bringing that up because it's like that on, with everything else, the food and not eating and training and competing and all this vlogging and being unemployed and just everything is just like mind fuckery madness. <laughs> All right, good night guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, one more thing before I go. So because I didn't get up this morning, because I didn't go to the gym and do that, when I go to the gym, the Trader Joe's is right there and I go right after Trader Joe's, I go there and I get anything that I need as far as groceries for my meal prep. Because that chain of events didn't happen, I didn't go to Trader Joe's and I didn't get the ground beef that I needed to prepare for today. So I had one serving of ground beef for lunch and then I had nothing for dinner and I didn't realize that until I had to go to work and I'm like, oh, what, what the hell am I gonna do? I've got the potatoes prepped, I've got broccoli, but I have no beef. So am I just gonna eat potatoes and broccoli and for, forego the beef? Well, on my way home, I was like, I really need some protein and I need to get it quick and just have it done and not worry about everything else. So I stopped by Wendy's, <laughs> infamous square patty. Went to Wendy's and that's all I ordered was a beef patty. Mm. It's obviously not grass fed nor organic and it's probably not 95 or 90, 10 lean, um, but it's, it'll have to do for now. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. You know, it's not as much beef as I would have normally if I was meal prepping. So hopefully that'll offset the higher fat content that's going to be in this patty.
Anyway, I just wanted to be transparent about that and, and be like, you know, I'm not perfect and I have my mess ups too and this is one of them. So I just gotta make do. That's, it's a rough day. It's tough, man. But I'll be all right. There are far worse things. Anyway, all right. Now I'm leaving for realsies. Goodbye.